You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Roas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Oops. Look where you're going. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get to places. Right, where is where's this anyway? Oh, it's not too far away, really. Cool. But yeah, so I think because. I believe if you go to the 20th century place first and then go to the suit company afterwards, you miss out on an interview question, which means that you will not be able to get five stars. Um, but in doing so, you miss out on a trophy. So we're going to go through this case, we're going to get five stars, and then I'm going to hop back in. Thankfully, it seems to be relatively early on into the case, so it should just take uh, about five, ten minutes tops to go and grab that other one. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. That guy looks shady. These customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, Roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Nope. Oh, very, very uh, discreet. LAPD, Good damn. Move. Imagine that response today. I'll take my chances. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's go. Well, this is not going to help your case, dude. And especially when I come and kick your ass. You're going to try running away? At least be a fast runner. Ah, easy. Easy. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Oh, well, well, well. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. Hmm. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you. But I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Oh, another silver dollar. Ready to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Hmm. Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. So. Um. I'm not sure how it works. If you're an American citizen, do you have an American license or is it translated to your own language? I get the feeling it's probably... Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information yeah. and I won't give you two... He's not a citizen. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. Hmm. Are either going back up a lie, and I think it's going to come down to the coin again. Um, yep, it's the silver dollar. The goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? But she got a silver dollar, my dude. Does it matter which one I go for? You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. Silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. Creatures? If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. At Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. 
Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. I mean, technically it's true, but I'm gonna go back up. The real funny wise guy. You wanna try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was already here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal, so he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Hmm. All right. Oh, back at the soup factory. Gonna scope out this fool, get a nesto. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. Uh-oh. I, th I get the feeling a firefight's gonna begin. Let him unload the goods first. Now? Let's get him. Oh, here the boys come again. Here we go again. All right, move. Move! Let's go! All right, all right. I'm choosing a fucking weapon, dude. Go upstairs. Okay, gentlemen, we'll take the lead. You cover us. Uh, probably not a good show. I don't know. Oh, no, we are going upstairs. Um. Going hard. Keep it tight, okay? LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Ooh. Oh, that's the guy that we uh, spoke to before, wasn't it? You want to address what was it? Federales have on it. Sea of Grass. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, hello. Silver dollar do. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Okay. What do you think? All clear. Look around. Give the bodies a one-over minimum out of fifty pounds. Sheesh. I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Hmm. So as his cousin joined him, yeah, and they did Juana and um, Jorge. Okay, just, 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 just checking on you, dude. Oh, you got it. That's a lot. Whew, that's a lot of money. Must be a thousand dollars here. Mother of God. What about his hand? Hmm. Yep. Yet another silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. There. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. Hmm. There are letters cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Put them together. Can you work out what it says? Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. Spiradigm. M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesang K. Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever. <laughs> 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. Alright. Well then, let's boogie. Is there a quick way out? Apparently not. Um, do you know the way, Roy? Oh, oh there we go. Oh, Jesus. It's a lot of dead bodies. All right, looks like we just got one more sort to make, I think. Messing K metal. It's disused scrap metal collection plant. All right, where are we going? Literally just down the corner. I don't want to crash the car. Oh, I'm just crashed it anyway. You've just got a thousand dollars, dude. I don't think that's uh, that's an issue. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Mm. It's your priority, straight Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? <laughs> That's quite like a thousand dollars. That'd be nice. 
Methane game at warehouse 10.27 p.m. I thought the raid was at one o'clock. We need another way in. Time traveled. Uh, can I just crush the... the can I through the gate? Um, hmm. Ah. Yep. That'll work. We're going from now back. That was usually nicer. Nice. Cover the back door, Roy. Oh, no, apparently I'm. Hey, who the fuck is that? Oof. Right in the noggin. Okay. What else we got? Where are we still in? Uh, oh. You okay? I'll tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. We're kind of in danger here. Got him. Anyone else? What the hell? This place is packed. LAPD, hands up. Victor Sanders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Oh dear. Working vice can be a thankless task, Belts. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one personally. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. <sighs> Every herb bearing seed. Let's just uh, quickly look through those. So yeah. So yeah, we're just missing this one trophy, which as you can see, Find the flyer at Juan Garcia Cruz's house and proceed straight to the 20th century market. So that should literally just be a uh, two minute job. I've got five stars. Excellent. All 13 clues, all nine questions. A bit of vehicle damage, but and a bit of city damage. Even without Victor Sanders, the Parnell soup pot bust is guaranteed to go down in LAPD history. All right, excellent stuff. We'll just go through the introduction to the next case and then We'll go back on the other trophy. Of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. 
Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Altacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. Connie. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse's breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Ooh, good damn. I thought we were looking at like a Hacksaw Ridge kind of situation then. Like this guy's just running up there into the battlefield and pulling people back to safety. But I reckon Legion Boxing Stadium. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. See a sandwich, buddy? Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. Keeps cropping up that blue room. Oh, was that a uh, Mickey? Mickey Cohen? Looks like Roy's not getting his payout today. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Abbott! You get out here right now! Was it meant to be a fixed fight? LAPD. Okay, well we're not doing that today. So uh, I'm going to cut back to when we find the flyer, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, folks, we're back. I've just done my sweep of uh, Juan's house. No. Uh, uh, we were going to go to straight to the 20th century market. Uh, I don't want to have to go through all the, the drive and all that. Come on, Roy. Get a move on, Roy. Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. Hold on, I'm coming. Hold on, hoo-ha. Come on, there's a trophy to be got. I don't know if it's going to drop as soon as we arrive. Yeah, we can skip all that, we've seen it. Hopefully it does, which means I won't have to go through the... Well, the, the chase wasn't long, but can't really be bothered. Okay. What I do miss about the original version of Elena is the fact that you could skip cutscenes. Especially if... Um, I, I feel like you should be able to do it if you're doing a replay. Because... Yeah. These customers. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. There we go. I fly.
Round the fire at Hong Garcia Cruz's house and proceed straight to the 20th century market. So now you can see in the Refund Madness case we have all five trophies. So fantastic stuff and we can pause there. Right, that is where we're going to end it for today, guys. Next time we'll be starting the setup, which is another main case. It's one of those cases where it goes main case, DLC case, main case, DLC case, main case. I think there are five in total on Vice. Uh, it looks quite interesting. Obviously, there's a sort of a boxing ring thing going on there, so I wonder how drugs are going to get mixed in with that one. We've had morphine, we've had weed. I wonder if they're going to just keep exploring different drugs. What if there's cocaine? What if there's crack? What if there's... Uh, heroin, stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just, I think it's all going to link back to the morphine, though, at the end of the day. I think that's the main story element there. So, if it'll pop up again, that'd be quite interesting. But if it doesn't, then I'm excited to see what it tells us anyway. Before I put them in text, I thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patron is Ron Highlight. Found links to his channel as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. And I'll screen a secret to my £1 patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to top of the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should become a patron, you can find a link in the description down below. You'd have to do that because at the end of the day, you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.